Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode number two of my Road to Anaheim series. Hopefully you enjoyed episode number one, because we took a look at some of my favorite personal moments. Uh, so moving on into episode number two, happy to say, and I'm sure many of you guys will have seen already on Twitter, I am casting MLG Anaheim. Boom. I'm so, so excited. Um, I think many of you guys may have probably realized that I was going to be casting, but still, it's nice to be able to officially come out and say, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be casting. Um, I've missed the Call of Duty community a lot, to be completely honest with you. Not really been uh, too involved this year, sadly, except for the first event, the Totino's event, which was uh, fun, but still, it's very different as opposed to last year, of course, where I was casting almost every single game. So has been a bit of a difference and a bit of a change for me personally, but still so excited to be able to say I'm going to be casting at MLG Anaheim. Hopefully you guys are excited. As I mentioned in, in episode number one, it means so much to me to be going back to Anaheim. Of course, Anaheim was my first event I ever worked with MLG and it, it's just so, it's such an awesome place. It really is. And the thing that really, really is important for me is the fans. The, the fans at Anaheim have always been unbelievable. The chants, the cheering, it's just a great atmosphere all in all. And Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see something similar this year. If you haven't already seen, it is a double elimination tournament, and it's also going to have group play into an open bracket as well. So it's not kind of like the smaller events that you may have been used to last year. Uh, of course, we, we ran a lot of those with season finals, etc. But this is just a big old fashioned MLG event. Of course, the 12 CWL teams will start off in pool play. You got a massive double elimination open bracket. It's just like a good old fashioned MLG event. And I'm so, so happy, guys. I can't, oh, I honestly can't contain my excitement. I've been oh, just waiting, waiting to announce that I was casting it. And then finally, yeah, we announced it just a couple of days ago. But still, I want to make this video as episode number two, just to go into a little bit more details about Anaheim and also touch on the reaction as well to me casting, which is always fun always fun on twitter at least it was extremely extremely positive you know everyone seemed really happy that I was going to be casting hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you guys tweeting at me so thank you so much for that really appreciate it um however however and this is always going to be the case um there were some some cries for oh you know you haven't casted it all this year you're going to be able to cast it um your black ops 3 knowledge isn't going to be the best i mean i i do play the game i'm not going to lie to you guys i play a lot well you know just playing doesn't mean you're going to be very good at casting you know, casting is what I do. It's my profession. Uh, and at the end of the day, you know, that's what I was hired to do. That's why I got a visa to move across the world. Like casting, I, I think the, the actual, the form of casting, if that makes sense, the, the art, if you want to call it that way, uh, is, is pretty simple. Like I've been doing it for years. That's not the issue, but I do kind of agree with a lot of people, you know, is my Black Ops 3 knowledge going to be there? Well, we'll have to wait and see. I'm grinding out the game. I've uh, spoken to a lot of pros recently about, you know, strats and tactics, watch CWL for all of season one or stage one, if you want to call it that. So I, I personally think my Black Ops 3 knowledge will be there. Of course, I have to kind of prove it to everyone that doubts me though. And, that, and that's always a part of casting and it has been a part of specifically with me uh, casting over the past couple of years, but I thrive for the challenge. I really do. And the great thing is there's thousands and thousands of people out there that will hold me accountable if it isn't where it should be. But I think we're going to see broadcasting and esports change a little bit. And what I mean by that is that as more and more people start watching that don't have a, a clue about what's going on, you're going to see the casting kind of change towards that style. Now, of course, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to forget about the people who are hardcore fans, but I personally believe in order to, to grow a community or to grow an esport, you need to appeal to as many people as possible. And to be honest, make them understand as much as you possibly can. And that's why casting, I think, is uh, is difficult, or at least that's the difficult part of casting. I think everything else is very simple, but finding that line between appealing to a new audience and also catering to the current audience is so, so tough to do. And, you know, sometimes I, I completely fail at that. I'm, I'll be the first to hold my hands up. Sometimes I'm awful at that. But, you know, sometimes I think I get that kind of spot on. I'm extremely happy um, to be casting Black Ops 3. I, I really cannot wait. I haven't really been able to, to cast it too much, as I said at the very beginning of this video. Many of you will know I've only done one event, but still, I'm thrilled nevertheless, and I want to thank everyone for the positive words. You may ask the question now as well. Well, you know, this is episode two. We had episode one, which were your favorite moments. Episode two, where you're kind of announcing that you're casting, even though it has already been announced, but shh, in case you didn't see the announcement. Uh, so what's coming up in the Road to Anaheim series? Well, uh, we're going to have a quick look in the next episode of what it's exactly like to, to learn a game such as Call of Duty, um, how I as a caster prepare for an event, 
then as well we're going to look at how MLG as a company prepare for an event all the stuff that goes behind making an event and then of course we're going to have an episode which is me traveling to the event you guys are going to have behind the scenes look at exactly what events look like etc etc all the, the behind the scenes kind of stuff you guys could possibly imagine we'll see and then there's going to be one other episode as well which uh, is going to be a little bit of a surprise but hopefully you guys will enjoy that of course all these episodes coming out right before anaheim kicks off june 10th through june 12th hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i ended up rambling a little bit put some gameplay in there as well so hopefully it isn't too boring it isn't just me kind of sitting here like yeah talk 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 but as i said hopefully you guys enjoyed it i'll see you guys in episode three